Morning, everybody, I want to welcome you to the Bastion of Thunder. This is a late night European edition of EverQuest live stream. On my left is our new member, Scorpion, played by Corbin, the deadliest Shadow Knight you've seen in nice bright orange. To my right, Lady Nerehen, the wizard that disintegrates. And tonight, she's going to get her chance to try to disintegrate these crazy-looking giants. And to her right is Warlord Capriel, UK's finest. And he's here to slash some monsters to bits. So guys, strap yourselves in. We've got quite a fight. I did scan the zone with my ranger. And all of the named are up, including Agnar. That I find amazing, too. But uh, you can't see it because I don't have tracking. But anyway, we are headed up to... Uh, Gawker Sandstorm and uh, we're gonna see what happens he should be about level 65 we're gonna fight our way now the one thing that's different about this zone uh, I do not have the ability to charm the monsters my highest charm goes to level 57 and they cannot be mez so the only way we're gonna be able to control the crowd is by root parking them or by tanking them so it's gonna be quite the challenge we have one healer merc which is Capriel's healer merc and I have my tank merc so we're going to give it a go and see what we can do. And without further ado, we've got this guy in front of us. We're going to go ahead and get him before the room behind us respawns, as it is. So guys, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to pull this guy here. Nice job on root parking him. Very good. And since they are tough monsters, I'm going to go with my best slow. But it looks like our uh, tanks are just tearing this guy a new one, really. And this is the way we're going to have to do it. We're just going to have to do it by brute force. Unfortunately, the charm goes to level 57, and these guys, as you can see, are level 64 already. So that's quite the surprise. And they're yellow, and they're giving lots of experience. They're getting about 2% per kill. And you can tell they're big, because look at how big these cribs are. Gigantic cribs. And of course, the piles obscure our brave fighters. So I have to do that command to hide the corpses. So here we go. Nice. Nice work, guys. And we will need it because these guys are tough. And today, Capriel is level 65. Scorpion, I think, is a level 62 or 63. And what do we have here? We have a sandstone spear, which is nothing. Now the thing is, we got to be really careful with pulling these guys. Let's try to get single pulls. We're going to go to the right. But first, I'm going to pacify these guys here. And the best thing about having a tank merc is that they are really good at taunting and we need that and that allows the wizard to nuke away and what I've done is had Capriel who's level 65 bring a healer merc and that really helps even more because he gives us the best the latest buffs and uh, a level 65 healer merc has more mana and generally better against these guys here so wow that was resisted look at this guy he's tough tough as nails And they're giants. Everything is big here. The table's big, the bed's big, and everything. If you've just joined us, we're in Bastion of Thunder. Welcome and good morning. If you're from Europe or the UK, we welcome you to the channel. Today, we're going to work our way to Garku Sandstorm. And then we're going to, after we do him, we'll get the next victim and the next victim. And who knows if we're lucky, maybe we'll get uh, Agnar. I don't know where he is, guys. But if you do, let us know and let us know how to get there. 
We'll see if we what we can do. Either way, we want to see what he's carrying. Nice job, guys. And to give you an idea of the experience I'm getting, uh, I'm getting about still about 2% per kill, which is nice. Now what's not known is the aggro radius of these guys here. So the way I'm going to do it is uh, pacify the front one, get a little closer, pacify the back one. Still out of range. It should be okay. Let's try to pull him straight away. Yep. So generally the way it works is if... Oh great. Got a roamer. Okay, so when his roamer is like this, I just go ahead and I pacify him. This way, he'll just sit there and uh, his aggro radius is super small. And we can work on this guy. But if he's higher level, what you want to do is you want to go with something else. Uh, mind, thank you, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, this guy behind us, uh, what you do is pacify him. <clears throat> there. That way, we're going to be careful. We'll go over here. Nice job. Okay, let's get this green dude over here. Clearing the jar trash. And he still hates me. And as long as you pull singles. Matthew Griffith, hello, man. Whoa, we killed him. Hello, good morning, Matthew Griffith. How are you today? How's things going? We're here in Bastion of Thunder. We're working our way up. We're going to get Garku Sandstorm. Or he's going to get us, one way or another, we'll find out. Okay, it's always good to have periscope sighting because... This guy here. There, there's a view for you guy. And how are you doing, Matthew, and all you joining us? We are in Bastion of Thunder. We're going to work our way toward Gorku Sandstorm. Here we are on the map. I will go to Height Filter. No, that's not good. And he's over there, and we're getting up there. We're going to go up and around, and we're getting crazy good experience. Uh, this looks like an AUG. It's a very nice AUG. So if you want it, hit Greed, and we'll roll for it. Okay, we got to be careful here. Let me go with the pacification routine here. <clears throat> One. Like this, I want to make sure we get a single pull. It's imperative because what happens up here is we cannot mez anybody. I'm going to pull this guy here. And just like that, we're going to work our way patiently and safely. Very nice. Good job. Okay, looks like we got that. I'm going to take this opportunity to meditate. So what we have is we have a Shadow Knight, we have a tank, a warrior, and a tank merc, and a wizard. A healer merc. Okay, let's try to do this. Let's see. Nobody coming down the stairs. Hitting pacify here. Gotta love it. You have to have pacify. It's all you can do is pacify and root park. Okay, go on, tank boy. The, the Agnar key, Matthew. So, oh, you mean to get to Agnar, we may we have to make a key. Uh, Matthew says, uh, I assume you still need to get him anyways. Matthew, I'm really this is my second time in the zone, but any hints you could give us would be really appreciated, because I'm not sure what we need to get the key. And w this group may not be able to take it, but I have a higher level uh, tune waiting here to uh, whack Agnar later, if possible, or we maybe whack him at the same time. 
Okay, guys, let's move up in here. We can take this guy here. Go ahead and engage him. Go straight ahead and engage this guy. Yeah. Dang, he does make a noise when he hits that big smack sound. And I hope you don't. We don't need a key. That would uh, that would be rough. If we did, really rough. But it, like I said, if you guys know, please let me know. Wow, kill him so fast. I may not need my dot after all. And Matthew says, first you need a tower key loot from the ring of a name then loot four elements or gems, one from each section. Combine the keys. Oh my gosh. Okay, folks, it's safe to say we may not make Agnar tonight just because of time constraints. <laughs> but wow. Pacify him so I can check. And it's a good thing I did. Because, surprise, there he is. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you so much for the tips on that. So we'll just kill the named uh, off in each each corner. And we can get the uh, wizard to uh, sucker us back to the, the beginning and do each, each wing. Do you think that's good? And then Matthew said, I haven't played on standard service in years, so you might not need the key anymore. Oh, I hope we don't. But nevertheless, he's level 75. He'll probably spank us around really good. But thanks for the tips, uh, Matt. Uh, this, nowadays, to get into here, you don't need, but you used to need a key or flag, I mean, excuse me, you need to be flagged, but nowadays, uh, no flagging necessary. You just uh, come on in. Okay, here's another AUG called the Frozen Ball of Lightning. This is nice too, for, especially for casters, I guess. So here we go. And I don't know what the sandstorm gem is for. Nice job, guys. Very nice. Oh, which one was the one for the tower key, Matthew? The one I picked up? Um, I... The frozen ball of lightning? Or the other thing? Sandstorm gem? Oh, this is nice too. Okay, so Sandstorm Gem, right? Yeah, okay, thanks, Matthew. Matthew's great. He's in chat. He told us take the Sandstorm Gem. Okay, I'll take that. And Sandstorm Spear, take that one too, right? Okay, that maybe that goes with it. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks for the viewers. Oops, a little too early. Guys are doing great, just tearing these guys up. Good job. Hoo -hoo, wow. Just like that. Wow. Our group is just getting stronger and stronger.
and down he goes. And experience level is still going. I'm 30% into 63. Just crazy good experience here. Let me check around the doors here. I see one right here. He's green. We are getting closer as you can see where the green dots and we're almost there. And you're going to see some big furniture from these guys, gigantic furniture. Gotta love my froggy, Tontomatic. Way to go. I'm just going to go like this since our healer Merc is doing great. I'm just going to go ahead and go with a dot instead. Since we don't really need to do much slowing yet, we just need to basically damage. Um, and then uh, Cabrio says, a wizard, the wizard hit. <laughs> wow, yeah, I know. Crits are over 7k. I mean, that's the thing about a wizard, you know, it's, it's, it's really making it go a lot faster. Hold on, guys. Let me pacify the guy up in the corner before pulling this guy here. Okay, that should do it then. We get a single pull here. There you go, just like that. Come on, Froggy, go, go, go. Yeah, I know, those crits are just nutty crazy. It's just, hey, it's much, it's needed, you know? We need those big crits, and I really appreciate every one of them. Gonna pacify, stand by. Stand by one more, and then we're gonna get this guy right by the door here. That's it. It's imperative to get those single pulls because two is no good. And as you can see the stairs up there, we're at the final approach to where we're going. And it's the, the big man himself. We're going to see just how dangerous he is. Ah, and the parry dot can only use, always use parry dot. Now this is frozen ball lightning. It's an AUG if you guys want it. Maybe I'll just slow him since uh, he's dying before the dot even gets close to expiring. Okay, Matthew, you got Slider. says he got Slider the Ancient. Now, Matthew, I, I'm dying to know, where was he? Was he where I, I showed on the thing, or was he totally on the other side of the map? I got to know. Oh, my God, this looks nice. Intricate, defiant ones. Oh, my gosh. This is a, the $50 million question I've been waiting to hear. I'm going to let you guys take it. This guy's pretty easy. There you go. You guys got this guy.
And Matthew says, wasn't in the same place, was west of center, wandering a pa big path, though. Oh, my gosh, that's different because the location I had him on, an emulator, was south. But west of center, wow. Wow, he's way out there. Oh, my gosh. Let me get this guy here. We were talking about Slider the Ancient in the Stonebrun Mountains. And Matthew had started tracking him the other day. And of course, since I played on the emulator, the pathing isn't quite the same. So EverQuest Live has a better pathing routine. You know, they update it and all, but on emulator, it's basically static. So Slider is very easy to find, but on a live server, he's not. And Matthew says that the, the wasn't in the same place, it was west of the center. And a big path, though. Oh, my gosh. Talk about big path. Oh, look, at we got a good item here. Guys, Pauldrons of the Eternal Storm. This is pretty cool. A warrior shadow knight. Uh, Scorpion and, um, and Caprio, you guys need this? Oh my god, Epulets of Eternity. Yeah, you don't need this. How about you, Scorpion? You need it? If not, I just I just greed on it and then uh, you know, go like that. And as we come around, staring us straight in the face, is this guy? There he goes, guys. And since he's white colored, I'll pop a dot right in. Matthew, I, I admire your persistence in getting slider. Because, you know, my Ranger, 85 Ranger, has a really wide tracking range. And I went in there a couple of times looking for him. And I was like, nope, I didn't see him at all. And I was just like, I just ran out of patience. But you got to have patience, that's for sure. And that's good, man. Okay, I'm just going to get this front guy. Let's clear him out. Okay, come on, froggy dude. Pick him up. And, uh, trying to do my 1.0 at some time for fun, says Capriel. And, uh, he, great. Wow, these guys just going down like paper mache. Okay, and this is just some Sandstorm medallion. Uh, I don't think that's anything. Okay, next victim. Look at this place. Big, big guys. But Matthew, now that you know where he's at, where Slide of the Ancients at, you, you, you've, you've got that. And not a lot of people know. For example, I was looking for Quillamane. And oh my gosh, that is, that is the craziest guy to get. I cleared South Koran and just killing everything. You know, one shotting it with my ranger and still no quillamine at all. Been doing it over and over. And as you know, there's a lot of guides on how to find quillamine. It's just really, really hard. That has three different spawning paths. Yeah, it does. And he, you have to basically, the best way to get quillamine is to kill every single thing south of Split Paw. You know, I just and he, to find out which one spawns him, and it, it just takes so long to do. And the best way is to just go with the ranger and just one shot everything. <laughs> but even that's time consuming, going back and forth and just one shotting everything and no quillamine. 
uh, one of them, yeah, it's there's a, a west and a, a middle one, and then another one. It's really hard. Okay, guys, here's what we have. We have this guy and Garku. Okay. But before we pull Garku, let's pull this other guy, but pacify him just in case. Let's get this guy over here. And take him down first. And get the corner guys just in case things get out of hand. And how, where did this guy come from? Oh my gosh, okay, let me just root him. Okay, if you need to move away, we just root him like that. There we go. Oh. Well, it may requires a timer to get it right. Oh, you're right, Matthew. Oh, a timer and, and a lot of patience, too. Totally a lot of patience. It's just I just go brain numb. But I think that at least it's better scenery because um, Slider the Ancient, oh, I'm telling you. I just got so tired of looking at South Karana. I mean, Stonebrunt, let's say, over and over and over. Okay, I'm going to med up just a moment. Let's see how we're doing. I'm going to rebuff everybody just... Oh, we don't need to do it. I think we're okay. Everybody all good here? I'm going to pacify the side ones and try to pull the middle guy. Hope it works. Wait, they got this guy. Let's just pull him. Okay, there you go. Well, he is some kind of a different kind of guy. Caster, maybe. You can? Matthew says he can teach me how to camp Quillamane. Oh, you the man. That <laughs> You've been playing a long time. You've got skill to, to do that. Because I just do the sledgehammer method. Just kill everything there. But I think your wave works a lot better, I'm sure. So a lot of augs here. Okay guys, whenever let me let me pacify the side guys here. Let's hope this goes. And uh, I gotta move into range. Should work. We need to get the big boy in the middle first. Oh, out of range. Not too bad after all. Time to put him on slow mo. All right, come on, land. Nope. Resisted. Trying again. Come on, land it. And you may notice these guys do. Oh, resist it again. I'll try again. You may notice these guys do not have mighty buff. Partially successful. So he is partially slowable. Let's hit him with a dot and resist the dot. Wow, resist a rama. There we go. Got the dot on him. Finally. Okay. So that's good. We got him. Very nice. And you can see our healer Merc is just doing fine. I move up here so you can get a good view of uh, Gawker Sandstorm. And here he is. Our group is just tearing him a new one. Great job, guys. Fantastic. And experience wise, I just did a half level. That is nuts. Wow. People aren't kidding when they say this is good experience. Ho, 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 ho. Blastamoy, Blasto. Down he goes. Okay, let's see what we have here. The loot is Ring of Torden and nothing else. So I assume the ring is a container. So that's what we pick it up, I guess, and put the items in. 
I guess I'll take that then. And um, okay, that goes in the thing there, container. Okay, so now, um, let me see here. So I guess what we do is we we have to get four wings. So we just guys, we just sucker back, sucker back to the uh, the beginning. Or do we go back to the courtyard? Um, Matthew, uh, what do we do here? Should we just sucker back to the beginning, do the other sides? Or that's a container for the tower. You can buy, oh, great. So should we sucker back to the beginning, Matthew? Or do we just go straight through the back of the door and go to the courtyard here? Because there's other named up here too, I notice. If we, from the beginning, there's Orin Wavecrasher and Keeper of the Past Lore and all of them, I saw them earlier. Or take the portal in front of you and see if Agnar portal is active. So, okay, so we have to take the, well, if we take the portal, then uh, uh, what, what happens, we go and there's an Agnar portal. And, but what if we go in there, he'll like rip our faces off. Okay, guys, we should, straight there. Uh oh, say again. I don't think it takes you straight there. Oh, okay. But, okay, should we do that instead? I think it takes you to the place with the birds, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes you to the courtyard area. But then what are, we have these other guys like Orin Wavecrasher. Uh, or should we... This place is so big, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, now, Matthew says that, that one takes you up to the B courtyard. Yeah, it does. Um, or take the porn in front. So, uh, Matthew, what do you think we should do there? We got to kill these two guys no matter what if we're going to go forward. Let's just kill these guys off, because if we go forward, we're going to have to do it anyway. So, audience, what would you, I'd say kill them and take the port up. Okay, we will do that. And your advice is what we like to follow. So, we're going to do that, and we'll find out what's really going on. Speed of the Brood, I need to rebuff this here. Shoulder items are there. Uh, okay, Matthew, we're going to do that. Thanks for the good advice. We're going to take the portal up. We're going to go straight through. see what awaits us dang just blowing them out of the water now here's a nice shoulder item called blessing of of uh agnar it's a uh, three hit points per tick okay so here we are and it's uh in this room here we're out where the gargoyles are and uh Okay, and we have these Storm Rider guys sitting right around a corner from us. Okay, audience, where should we go? And you can see on the map where we're at. And I'll go like this, height filter. So the Agnar Tower is in the middle and it's zapping like this. Um, go ahead, give us some advice, Matthew. That lightning in front of you is Agnar Clicky. Test it if you want. Don't know if it will work, so just click it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, surprise. Oh, shoot.
That was a nasty surprise. Let me see if I can mess him. I cannot mess him. Oh my. To try to just root park it. Seems okay. Okay, good job, guys. Don't hit too hard. Yeah, good. I'm just gonna pop a slow on him. Wow, he resisted the thing. Oh my. Well, he's almost dead. Let's just finish him off. Wow. I was a guinea pig there. <laughs> wow. It's a whack in my face off. Stone Watchers thing, whatever that is. Let's see if we can slow these guys a little. Good, one of them slowed. There we go, nice. Okay, we put him on, just root these guys, that's all we can do. And get them slowed. Okay, that's a little more manageable there. Sneaky little storm watchers. Sneaky things. That's how we like them. Nice and slow. That's it. Oops, resisted. Wow. Okay. There you go. You're dead now. For you. If you're just joining us, we're in Bastion of Thunder. We have teleported out, tried the Agnar portal, and it uh, gave us this nice little surprise here. This guy's almost dead. Nice job, guys. I was able to land slow on all of them, which is good. And this is Ethereal Parchment. Not sure what that's for. Nice job, guys. Good going. Good going. And the lizard man, the lizard man oracle did use some mana, but not too bad. Good job. Gotta clear the guys away either way. I'm not sure if the portal works. I clicked on it a bunch of times, Matthew, and uh, nothing seemed to happen. But I can click it again. And as you see, we've got these monsters on the side here, like the Storm Rider. I, I know we got to clear them too. we got Storm Riders on both sides. But I'll try the clicky thing. Uh, magical energies shoot through your body, it says. You hear crackling of stones around you. So that's all it says. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't do anything. I mean, it won't work until those dudes are dead. Okay, let me go to first person mode. Maybe I'm not clicking it right. No, you see the message on the lower left. It, it's, it won't do anything. So maybe it's because we need the click it with the key I think like you mentioned earlier yeah so we use the key to click it so now let me go back to this map we have I'm facing east right now actually I'll face north and which way should we go to upper right upper left lower left or lower right so I can't even tell which one we actually came from that's the funniest thing but I guess if we go we get a fire Okay, here it says. It says one is fire tower, air tower, uh, ice tower, and other is earth tower. What do you think, guys? Looks like we're in for for the tour then. Yeah, we could. Um, uh, we can do. We don't have to do all of them. So uh, any direction and click. The black circle thing on the left side of any tower is what he said. We'll port you back to bottom. 
You can't get into any tower until you finish tower key. Really? Oh, gosh. So... Oh, I see. The thing over there, that's a portal thing. So we got to finish the key for each tower. Oh, my gosh. What if we go to one of these? I see the one we came from. What if we go to one of these and click on it and try to get in the door? Like, guys, let's go ahead and take let's this. Let's do the one. Earth one then. Uh, uh, okay, Earth Tower. Yeah, let's pull this guy here. Okay, yeah, let's just, just, just go for it then. And we'll see what happens. Okay, Matthew says one key opens four towers. Okay. Dang, this place is big. Okay. Oh, Matthew says we need to go to the bottom and pick a different wing or key. Okay, so we have, uh, we're up here. We're gonna go to the earth side. Is that is that what you're saying, Matthew? Go to the upper left side. And then uh, Matthew says, you can go any direction right now. You will end up at the bottom regardless. Okay, so just go and click on one of those things. Or I can click on the door, try to go up and see if the door opens. I'll just try it. I went here with somebody earlier. I have another video. Um, and Matthew, what happens if we hit evac? Do you know where that will bring us? Because I'm going to try the door up there. Because I went with somebody before and we were able to get into other other uh, wing. Okay, let me break this up here. Okay, I think we can single pull this guy here. Okay, let me try one of these doors over here first, Matthew. And then if that doesn't work, we're just going to evac back to the beginning and see where that takes us. So hang on near him. We're going to try over there. He said, oh, Storm Watcher, of course. I'm going to try that door up there, but first I'm going to got to kill off the Storm Watchers over there. Let's just take a moment. Well, they're indifferent anyway. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, so I can just go right up and I'm going to click on the door to see what happens. Oh, I didn't work. I guess you got to click on this black marble uh, and see what happens. Can't get closer. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> that solves it. Okay. Click on the black marble, guys, and come on back. Now, which way did we go here? So I see you have to complete each one. So now we're going to go to this way, the way I'm facing. Let's try to go that way. And this wave is this way is to Orin Wave Crasher. We'll just work on this today.
Okay, let's get engage this guy in the corner here. Go ahead and uh, go right up to him and smack him. Yeah, we'll work it this way then. And Matthew says, get, yes, gems. Collect a gem from each wing. Combine them for the Ring of Torden. Uh, gems drop randomly. Okay, we will do that then. Thank you. And thanks for the help. Wow, I didn't realize you have to know a lot about this place. It's a raw diamond. That's nothing. Okay, so this guy here... Just take him on. And thanks for the tips once again. By the time we get done with this, we may be level 70. <laughs> you never know. And that would be a surprise. Okay, Capriel, nice job. Got some more alternate advancement. Oh, wow. Okay, let me refer to the map. We are going to go to the right side and see if it's easier. Or actually, if we go to the left side, that's better. Let's go this way here to the water elemental guy. <laughs> You're going down fast. Keep it going. Okay, looks like we've got two up here. Let's go ahead and pacify. I hope there's not more, but I'll pacify the Bram guy and I'll take a peek up here. Okay, you're gonna pull Bram first. Nice job, guys. There we go. Good, landed a dot on him. I'll oh, just slow him too, might as well. Uh, should use Lesson of the Devoted if you have it up. Oh, Lesson of the Devoted. Let's see. Good idea. Thanks, Caprio. Good, good thing. I think it's over here under Special. Lesson of the Devoted. Thank you. Okay, yep. Time to pop it. Sorry about that there. Oh, these guys are tough. Yeah, water monsters generally will be immune to, uh, to, um, cold, but, uh, can use fire on. I'm not sure about the giants uh, uh, near him. I'm not sure what works on them. Oh, this guy's good as dead. Yeah, maybe lightning works on him. Ice meteor. Wow, the spell names are crazy good. The guy in your group asked if you each need a tower key. No, you just need one for the whole group. Thank you. So whoever looted the ring should. Okay, I'm the one that got the uh, ring, so I should be the ring dude. Thanks, Matt. Okay, we're gonna put him in pacification. Let me get this guy here.
somehow he didn't like me at all. Okay, good. That's the way we do it. And I'll just pacify the other guy again. This guy, what I do is I just keep pacifying him. And then when we're done with the other guy, we'll take him when we're ready. Okay, guys, go ahead and take that guy in the corner and you're all set. He's... There you go. There we go. Just watch this one from over here. Now, Ice Meteor, that must hit for some crazy, crazy damage. Agnar's Thunder. Wow, you got all these. Oh, wow, there's one. 2,700. Dang. Woo. Okay, now this room we're coming up has Torrent Wind in there or Keeper of the Past Lore. Okay, so we're going to get something interesting because he has a pet. I've seen him. Gonna pacify him so I can get a little close. This is a big room, a lot of spawns in here. Gotta work fast. I'm gonna, oh boy, it's a challenge. Let's see if I can pacify him. Unaffected, it won't work. Okay, good. Let's get him in the hallway here. Good job, guys. Nice. The keeper is going to be a challenge because we're going to have to he we're going to have to see what happens if we can pull the other guys. We may get a two pull or something. Okay, let me met up here. So we may have a, a tough fight up there. At least we broke the room down a little bit. Oh, he's um, he's high level. Yeah, he should be. I hope he's not level seventy. I. The highest is supposed to be level 67 or something. What is he con to you? He's yellow. Oh gosh, yeah, he is like 67 or 70. Well, we're going to find out real soon. Uh, maybe the pet, nothing we can do. I, ca I can't pacify him at all. It won't cast on him. So what I'm going to try to do is pull this guy next to him. Or maybe pull him alone. Let me, let me pull him alone. That's the only thing we can do. That's our only chance for a single pull. Repacifying these outside guys. Let's pray to God this works. I went ahead and rooted his his pet. Go ahead and engage him out here. Engaging with the pet. Let's see if we can drop him a s slow on him or anything. It's risky fighting him up here, but let me get up there. Repacifying the back guys. Damn it! Too late. We get the other guy real quick. Come on! Come on! Go! 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 Shh.
Let me try to slow these guys in the back. Good, you, good job guys, you're getting the keeper. Okay, trying to slow the guy in the back here. Oh, and a pesky pet, you little pest. Wanka, oh my gosh, look at this guy, come on. Good job guys, good job. Let me pop the slow on this guy, get him as quick as I can. I don't have it, it's in a small room. Good going guys. Good job. And slow has landed. Okay, good. Just root parked him. Very nice. They're both root parked. Good job. Good job. Let's take him down. Go ahead, guys, and I'm gonna lock that pet down. I'm gonna root park him. Nice work, guys. Gonna need the med after this. Uh, what did he drop? Drop a pure wound. Whoa, went up another level. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, ancient lore of the past. It's uh, no drop. I don't know if it's anything. I guess I'll, I'll take it. Just in case it's for the key. Okay, and now we got the pet. Okay, it's met up for a minute. Great job, guys. Really, really good job. Uh, no biting. Yeah, you can see the difference with no mighty buff. It's doable. But imagine if he had mighty buff, we'd be here all night. Uh, that Hey, guys did great, man. Really, really good. Uh, let me get a camera view like this. I'm going to med up a little. I'm at 70%. And then we're going to go over and get Orin Wave Crasher. He's the next boss. So that guy might have been level 70 or something. That's what I think. Cannot believe it, I hit level 64. Yeah, I know. That that means he was 60. So he's yellow to Capriel, who's 65, I think. So that's a lot. Okay, this mess does up to 65. Let's try this. And this is uh, transform your target into Scarecrow. Gives a chance to do a little life draining effect. Oh, that'll be good. Maybe I'll turn you into Scarecrow. So that means Scorpion be the, well, he can already do it, so I'm going to turn Capriel into Scarecrow first. You know, it may be. I think it is. It's kind of like an upgraded version of it. Uh, Nearhand asked me. I'm full mana. But look at the refresh timer. It's a one minute and something, so appears to be... A long wait and we're a full mana let's see I'm just gonna rebuff the speed here might as well so this place may take a couple live streams I'm telling you well we're gonna do this and then we got to get the key tonight will be getting the key and then the next time will be who knows what because it will be getting late so let's go over and knock down uh, Orin wave crasher whenever you guys are ready Let me just wait on Capriel here, whenever you're ready.
Okay, so we're about ready to go after Orin Wavecrasher. Uh, let's see here. Okay, now it's uh, here. I'm going to go ahead and cast it on him. And actually, I should cast it on you. Going to give it to. You. Oh, look at who he turned into uh, a scorpion. Uh, is turning into a, uh, a scarecrow, and that lasts for 17 minutes. Okay, Capriel, you ready there? Uh, that I don't know if he boosts any of those or not. But what this will do, Scorpion, is supposed to give you uh, kind of like a life tap effect. I hope he didn't go Link Dead or anything. Uh oh, where is he? Capriel, you there, man? We don't want to leave you here, man. Uh oh. I'm used to Harry Got Juice uh, being linked at all the time. Oh, hey, that worked. The poke, okay. <laughs> There you go. Good job. Okay, if you're just joining us, we're back in the Bastion of Thunder and we're working towards Orin Wavecrasher. And we have four sides of this to do. Oh, that does work well. Scarecrow power. And you have to use the old periscope here. Uh, van. Oh, too so much for that. Okay, parking one of these guys. Oh, okay, I better go get it, actually. Uh, thanks. Thank you so much. The gems all look alike to me. That's a problem. One of these one of these days we'll get all the gems. I think you guys are much deadlier with scarecrow power. I mean look at you guys. I see life tap stri life tap strike. Wow. Everybody's popping off life tap strike. That is sweet. As it increases uh attack rating and dexterity. Okay, so it's pretty it's all good then, huh? pacify here Nicer view. This is a good view right here. Oh boy, yeah, I can tell you guys. Seems like it's making a difference. These guys are going down fast. Oh, 
Okay, looks like we have a roamer coming our way. We'll just wait for him to come to us. Okay, guys, he's all yours. Okay, let's see what container I got from them. Oh, I did get a shoulder item. And here's the ring. Let's see this guy right here. There's a container. And this goes in there. Just going down so quick. Your proc rate, that's nice. That is sweet. Look at these guys. I can I notice a difference. It's it's a small difference. Wow. Okay guys, we're in up in Orin Wave Crashers room. Let me check it out. I think there's guys on all sides. And there are. Hang on, I'm going to pacify. Let's do this without getting killed. Get this guy here. Work it very fast. I'm going to try to get a side pull first. Surprise! Oh boy. Good thing we got you single pulled. Okay, you guys got this guy no problem at all. Nice. Let me work the routine one more time here. Or in Rave Crasher is two levels higher. Sixty-five. I wonder if I can pacify him. Looks like you guys got him. And Mystic, no passive pull the whole room at once. Let's see your <laughs> Oh, I love the spirit guy. Yeah, pull the whole room at once. I will say that, Mystic, that that is the modern style. Pull the whole room at once. I gotta give it, I gotta hand it to you. But we're gonna take it one step at a time here. We're gonna Pull the home room at once. We we got to be higher level to do that. But would you do that? How would you do it if you pulled the whole room at once? This guy looks pretty tough, actually. Okay, pulling Orin. Okay, finally. Get your butt over here, dude. Yeah, but I, I'm sure people do it, you know. In the modern game, you, you pull the whole room. I totally agree with you. You really do. It, it makes it adds for some excitement, I'd say. A lot of excitement. Oh my god, resisted this again? Come on. Finally, the dot has landed. Good. Keep going, guys. Chew him a new one. And 
go with this view right here. Uh, Oren is, I'm an old school enchanter. Oh, good. I'm just messing you. Play it safe is always good. I always enjoy this zone. Well, give us some advice. I mean, we got uh, Garku Standstorm, and this is Oren Wavecrasher. We have a map. And uh, we, I guess we did the bottom. I guess we got to go and get Leaf Windfall. And then we got to go to the other side. So we got to go Nexus at the top. That's next on the route. I know it's been a while, but this is one that... Oops, I got to get back to what I'm doing. This is definitely a favorite among people. Uh, one of the more popular zones. Uh, I don't know if I can. I, I would try. I don't... You try near hand. If you can stun him, your stun's better than mine, really. And you let me know if you can do it, because uh, he's almost dead anyway. Long recast time. Stun landed? Oh, wow. Should have tried. Guy's doing great. and uh, The healer merc is doing fine on mana. We just got to keep the healer merc from getting hit. And once again, good experience. Uh, 64.2. Just experience is going so fast over here. Yeah, the air side is confusing, is what Mystic said. So air side is that to the the top, like a leaf windfall. It says A B. Oh, it does have that. Okay, maybe we should go all the way across and go to the other side then, huh? Like go to the the left side of the map instead of going to the top, right? Do you suggest that? Oh, this guy's tough. He was healing, really. Okay, so here we have uh, ornament. And if anybody wants another ring, go ahead. And this is a crystal here. Another aug, nice aug here. 40 hit points. Oh, can't do it. Got it, I guess. So if anybody wants to set up a ring, get their own key. And Matthew said, there's a portal to bees where Orin was, or it's just Sucre, I think Sucker. I think it is. I think you're right. It's just to, it'll bring you back to the main place. Um, we could just have the, uh, the wizard Sucker us back to the beginning, but I think there, no, that's it. We just got to run back there or either way. Wow, you went almost went out of mana. I think the, um, the, the the portal back there would just send us back to where those uh, stone guys were. So if we want to go back there. Okay, Matthew, see you. Have, have a good day, man. And thanks for watching. Good to see you. Got uh, Slider the Ancient. That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should just, after we kill this guy, we should just evac uh, back to the beginning part and go from there. Might be faster, actually. Okay, go ahead and hit uh, the evac back to the safe spot. See where this sends us. Cool, much, much, much better. Okay, so now let me look at the map. And we have to go up the stairs, obviously. And let's see what I've got here. We're supposed to go to the top or left or right, actually. I'm going to get going. Uh, you you got to go? yeah okay capriel thanks so much for joining us really appreciate it man and uh, have a good day too 
on you. See you later. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and just disband when you're... Oh, he did already. Okay, so I got a uh, Merc. How late are you guys going to stay up uh, is the question. Uh, Mystic, I think we, we can keep, we can keep going. I'm good. How about you, uh, Nearhan? One more wing. Okay, one more wing. It is. This is actually pretty fun. Uh, have have either uh, of you guys been go, here before? Let me go AFK just just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll take AFK for a minute. Um, yeah, we should definitely. I got a healer merc. I mean, a tank merc. Uh, Scorpion's got a healer merc, and you can have a DPS caster merc. We'll need everything we've got. Okay, so Mystic, I went up the stairs before, and I think I went to the left. Let me take a look at the top of the stairs. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't know if I went to the left or right. Yeah, I should go to the left. I think we went straight or something. I can't remember. I might have. So we're going to, this is going to be, we have fewer people, but more mercs. Who knows? Maybe it'll go faster. I uh, will find out. And Mystic says, that's the air side thing. Very top. Okay, we'll try to go that way then. Oh, you're going back to uh, near hand is... Uh, I'm switching to the DPS caster merc. You could go that way or tank merc would be good. Either one near hand. Uh, one healer merc should be able to cover um, all of us. Because the last healer merc, it only it had uh, maybe 80% was the lowest it went. The tank merc is good because what it can do is it'll, uh, it'll help taunt and block for you. So if we get our overpull, it'll help control the the second guy or so. And uh, Mystic says, main room at hall has four halls. Oh yeah, that's the main room we went to. North, south, east, west. Okay, Mystic, so we got up there. And uh, we'll go to the top. I'll take a left at the top and then... That'll get, send us where we're going. And I'll, I'll ask for your advice when we get up there. See if you can let us know. Look at these dead bodies. These are just fake dead bodies. Back. Okay, welcome back. We're just waiting for a near hand. He's uh, changing his Merc, I think. We're gonna. He's either going to get... You know what's... Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, is there any quest or anything with that, with that guy over there? I noticed we were getting faction with him when we were killing those... Yeah, I think he gives me something. Or I, I saw it on Alakazam. Uh, does Mystic in the in the chat? Do you know what the Asker the Lost does? Do you remember his quest? Oh yeah, he's part of the Plane of Time now. I remember. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Mystic. Yeah, I've been way too long, yep. But Mystic, out of all the, the Planes of Power zones, which one was your favorite? Or what were your top two favorite? And how about you guys? What were your top two favorites? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, give it some thought. Plane of knowledge <laughs> and near hand said plane of knowledge. Yeah, I I would I totally agree with that one. That that's the best one by a mile. Oh yeah. I read somewhere that uh, uh, this place here, Bastion of Thunder, was probably the most popular one out of all of them. 
that everybody likes this. This is, for some reason, it's the most popular. I'm not sure why. I read that places like Plain of Storm, people didn't like that one. Okay, Scorpion, if you could uh, use your healer, Merc, and then I'll go ahead and uh, buff. Okay, buffing uh, clarity. And Mystic said, I w kind of went back to some fables. I can't really remember, though. Spent a lot of time here, though. Always love this place. So this one is the one you love, too. That's good. Okay, I'm going to get a pop, a, put a dot on here. And we should be ready to go. Oh, Plane of Nightmare. Now that That's one ugly zone. There's this guy called Rattle Squirrel that had a Plane of uh, Nightmare thing where he went through it. Oh, that just looks like a horrible, scary zone. And there he is, Argath Hand Hardhead. Plane of Tactics is a pretty good one. What is good about Plane of Tactics? Because I've seen other people in it uh, before. Some guy that was also my level, like level 85 Shadow Knight farming it. But what's what's good about it? And if you guys are ready, let me know. Okay, now that we went to the top... I guess we go to the left, right? Or we go that way. So let me see on my map here. Oh, yeah, we go this way here. And Argath says, good for armor drops. Experience is pretty fast, though. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Oh, this one. I remember this. This one is a tricky one. Why? Because in this one, you got to go through the teleporter. Okay, we get two, we make it exciting, do it old school style. I put slow on them. Add that already. see how we do here good hey not bad well you know the problem is mystic I could charm these low-level guys but as they get higher I can't because I only have the charm spell called beckon it only charms up to level 57 sadly so that kind of like uh, leaves you left out in a way let me help him out though just pop a dot on him I tried to charm some of them before and it's just, they're, you know, the above the level, like I'm level 64 already and 57, oh, that's so far away. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, look at that big ice block hit him on the head. Okay, nice job. Hey, we did all right there. Pacify and pull the guy on the right. There, get you guys a good view of the action. I'm just gonna go like this. There you go. Ice meteor, sweet. And this guy over there, I just keep pacifying him so he doesn't decide to get aggressive with this. Dang, it is fun playing a wizard where you can blast away like that. Ooh, down he goes. And get some more of these things. Nice job, guys.
love this clockwork guy. Check this out. Love the the animation on him, just the look. <laughs> DBS caster. I mean, it's like we already have near him, but now we got this guy just blowing things apart. Oh, <laughs> man, gotta love it. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Claw of Frost. <laughs> Okay, now this is a little tricky. We have the teleporter to go through to C and D. Uh, oh, let me check the map here. To B, oh boy. Maybe we should go back the other way. This is gonna be too confusing. Let, let's go, guys, let's go back the other way. It's gonna take too long. Yeah, I like carpeted areas more. Okay, let me just slow them. That's all we can do. Yeah, it does a mistake. They, <clears throat> that's what's nice. They mark the map, which I really like. But even then, with, with it marked, it's still confusing. I'm not sure, like, you know, I, I've been through here one time before, and I remember it was like, even the guy bringing me through it, he got kind of lost too. Because you're right, that's really confusing. So we're going to do one wing, which is this wing here. And uh, with that, we'll go through the rest of it. I mean, we'll do that, and then the next time we'll come back and do the rest. Whoa, bang, bang, bang. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hammer time. Jeez, wow. Pieces of ice flying everywhere. And then, um, Fire Hall is cool. I used to use Elemental Charm in this one on my Magician. Oh, so you could charm the Elementals. Now, what is this area? We're going in the Carpeted Hall. So that would be... I don't know what... Oh, let's see. Lightning gem. Okay, three out of four pieces ain't bad for tonight. Thanks, guys. Okay, there he is. Green little booger. And you guys are going to have no problem with this guy here. And uh, Mystic says, the only charm mages ever got. But that's a good charm, you know. Oh, wow. Dead or a doornail. It's good to get an elemental charm, I think. Okay, let's see where we're going. Height filter. Okay, we're going that way. So it could be up or go to the right. Let me check this here. Uh, where is the dude at? It doesn't have it should have his name somewhere. It does not. So I guess we just go around. Uh, let's go this way here. As expected, he's hiding around the corner. Let's see if we have anybody else on this side. Okay, guys, go ahead and engage him right here. This is his bedroom. Hard is said, well, got my monk to 40 in Kesor. Then I cheated and did 40 to 51 in Hatchery. <laughs> All right, that's a spirit, Hard Ed. I'm telling you, man. You got, that is a spirit, you know. You could go from, from 25 to 50 in about one hour. Same thing. If, you, if you're using a Druid, if you use a Shadow Knight, it's even faster. Um, and you just heal yourself, which is cool. Uh, Mystic, we're actually on the test server doing this. 
Uh, and the reason why we're here is because you get instance versions of these zones. In addition to that, as you can see, we get people from other servers that cop test copy their characters down here. And that's probably one of the best things about it that I like. I really like how it gives you a real wide reach in terms of getting players to come down. Whereas if you're on a regular server, it's kind of hard because you're limited to that server. So that's a, that's a common question that's been asked. Uh, orb of electricity, it's, I don't know what this is. Um, Okay, let me sit, pacify him. And then I'll pull, put the in the pool. There we go. He didn't like me at all. And so that's a thing that's good about it. We, I, I did play on Agnar server for a little while. And Corbin here uh, was over there with me too. And he's playing Scorpion. So we did, did a little bit over there, came back here. But uh, I like this server a lot because of that. And also if you're a free to play account, and you play down here, you get to get full access, like all access. And that's a real nice thing. Frozen Ball Lightning, we got that already. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh boy. So, note to self, if it says stab in the name, that means he's a nuker. I'm going to turn Scorpion into a killer scarecrow. This is going to make him fight better. Okay, let's refer to the map. Uh, he's on the right. Let's see, this is just, he should be just by himself, I believe. Let's see, we'll find out. Yep, he's right by himself. Uh, permabuff? Uh, no. Um, Nearhand says permabuff. No, these don't have permabuffs yet. Even the bosses don't. But I bet you we fight Agnar, he's got a buff on him. Guys, I think we got a named over here. And we have Hydra. I can't even pronounce these names. Okay, we have. Labyrinth Defiant Chain Sleeves. Ooh, sweet, sweet. Roll away. Okay, so our first named mob. And here he is. But he has other guys around him. So what I'm going to do is pacify the side guys. And uh, we're going to pull him. Hold on, guys. One down. Two down. Hang on. Let me take a peek in there. Three in here, guys. You got to be careful. Ah. That's the way to do it. Single pull. Let's get these guys one at a time. And back to the chat here. Argoth hard hit. I like classic, but I wasn't too blown away by Agnar. That server will be much better when it's unlocked and becomes a uh, playground. You know, I totally agree, Hardhead. Right now, a classic, everybody's just packed into one area. All the mage armies are, all the farmers. It's, it's really, really hectic out there. And um, that's, that's one of the negatives about it. 
So that's one reason why I'm back here. Let me get ready to pacify the room standby. They're creeping up, aren't they? <laughs> They're creeping up? Uh, critical. Yep. There we go. That's what we like to see. So, um, yeah, you know, the thing is, is with Agnar, is that I, the best part about it, like I said, my update was the first day. Guys, we're going to pull the name now. Okay, game time. Let's see what you got, Mr. Insect Dude. Good. Slow worked on him, and this should work too. And Mystic says, Yeah, I played on Rage Fire. I think that's what they renamed one of the servers Classic EQ. That was it, Rage Fire. I think it was one of the first ones. He would solo play in the sky, man. Wow. That's after after a while, yeah. Box 40 mages? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. In those days, you could box a whole bunch of mages. But the new one, Agnar, they have a lot of true box, supposedly true box technology, where you can't box that many. You have to have individual computers. So... But still, they do have a lot of mage armies out there. You see mostly six boxes running around. It's around six or so. And since there's nowhere to go but classic, they're, they're, you find them everywhere. Oh, what is this here? Stone of the Firestorm. Another Og. Whoa, ho, ho. This is nice. AC8. Okay. Wait a second here. Yeah, it's lore. Okay. Wizard, Necro. Okay, that's... I roll off with the Nerofen. Nerofen. We got one more guy in there. He's yellow to me. I'm going to pull him. Or we can just go in and jump him. I pressed the wrong key there. Okay. Yeah, and this looks like this guy, I think he's a named. The name would imply it. And uh, Hardhead says um, they could have banned Chronos on the server and it would have been much better there. Still would be major armies and farmers, but still. Uh, you know, the thing is, is I, I, I'd asked that question before, and what people said is that they'd never ban the mage armies. I mean, never ban Chronos, excuse me. Because the Chronos brought them so much money. It really, really did. And, you know, it's EverQuest's uh, Daybreak's way of putting their uh, hand in, uh, getting their hand in the money pot there. So they would never, never get rid of it. Because he just made too much. One guy in, in the chat said in his guild, somebody bought something like 30 Kronos just for Agnar alone. It's partially successful. So that just goes to show. One guy doing it, you multiply that. And then uh, Mystic says, when he wiped, he took 45 minutes to set him up again. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I got sucked into the elitist guild that took every single raid mob. It ruined for me. They were way too hardcore. Yeah. At some point, you know, you, I like to play it more casually. Because there's some people that are really, really hardcore out there. Like, like you know, they had killed Nagafen after day three. That I mean, on day three, not after day three. On eight, day three. Nagafen was killed and the same day they're killing Vox and everything. The next day they they kill all the everybody else, which is amazing. Damn this guy's hard. Wow, near him, blowing the man and go for it. Oh, it's healing himself, no wonder. Well it ain't gonna help. Oh no kidding. Whoa. 
Okay, we need more dot then. See, even at this level, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm just gonna. Oh boy. There we go, he's dead. And what does he drop? Ring of Torden. And this ball. Oh, Tear of the Rainmaker. Another earpiece. Whoa, look at this, guys. Of course, the ones you buy at the vendor are a little better, but nevertheless, level 56 Twinkie item. Gonna med up for a minute. And uh, Hardhead says, Daybreak put money first. When these servers get ruined, they just open another. So true. I never thought about that. They are just cash machines. They, that's what they do. And you know, there's so many new players out there that are just totally nuts. Like on the first day, uh, the drag, Dragoon Dirk was selling for one chrono. And that guy sold it. You know, I mean, it, he, was, he sold it just like that. One chrono for that 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 stupid weapon. Can you believe that? And then uh, the day I, I stopped playing there, somebody was selling the loam encrusted um, that that robe, and that one you know that's a nice robe. Twenty three chronos. Is that stupid or what, man? That's crazy. I could not believe it. I was like, what? Hooded black cloak going for four chronos? Yeah, just you you see it. It's just nuts. Okay, let's see where we're going. Okay, so we got a named over here, and uh, we're going to continue to the right. Whenever you guys, I'll let you guys met up. So I always like this discussion, and it also brings out the nasty side in people. People that train each other, you know, try to kill each other out there. Kill stealers. Um... Okay, uh, I'm fine. As long as it's not immediate named after this, I can concern mana as we progress. Oh, okay, so you're almost ready. Okay, let's move on then. There you go, and you're blue, so you just get the dot treatment. Don't want to sit there. That's ruining the view here. Here, get the better view here from the carpet. Yep, there he goes. Bang, bang. This is actually going faster for some reason than humans. Okay, guys, go ahead and uh, I guess this guy is here by all mine, so go ahead and jump him. You should be all right. Yeah, I love those scarecrow sound effects. Totally do. I, it would be cool if I could turn my Merc into one of them. Let's see if I could turn him into a scarecrow too. I did. Oh my. Okay, guys, let me check the room out. Hold on. Okay, this is it. They put these guys right around the corner, make it so sneaky. Yep, I see your foot, dude. There's only one guy there. Oh, I see what happened. Come back. Come back. Fight over here, dude. Oh, don't just stay there and cast. All right. And, uh, gotta love. Uh, our hardhead says some people got so obsessed with being first, they just leave a wake of destruction everywhere they go. When EQ was new, nobody knew that tricks. So these progression servers will never come close. 
Yeah, I totally, totally agree, Ar Argrath. I mean, and also there's a lot of things that are different. For example, um, what is this, a glyph room reward? What, what's also different is, you know, there's a lot of things, no corpse recovery, there's no uh, weight of money and all that. All those things change everything so much. Take this guy out here. Uh, Enchanter tank, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yep. Gotta be safe though. Yeah, gotta be safe. Yeah, and our guest says, on P99, my monk loses an hour of leveling per night just banking. That's right. I always forgot about P99. I never tried it. It's not bad. I mean, I think actually P99 is closer to the true uh, classic experience. Because you have the original zones and all that. Let me get this brand guy up here. You have the original zones. And the zones look the same. Uh, you have the corpse runs and all that. Uh, yeah, it does have a few changes. And uh, I totally agree. And there's also variations of it also. Oh yeah, lower guck, it's always. And I guess this is just a dead end or something. Good point there, Argath. He's talking about P99. Uh, Monk's Fame Death recently. So, Nearhand, well, what did they change with the Fame Death on it? Uh, wow, this Scarecrow thing really works. Not spammable. I'll tell you one thing that's different on the, the emulators is the aggro ranges. That, that's, that's definitely different. Get this guy down. Not sure what else uses. Oh, I see. There's a stair. Oh, I get it. Uh, but we begin this way here. Oh, that's at a courtyard. But we came all the way around this area. Hmm. Oh, AC Gamer was talking about something uh, about the feigned death. I see. Guys, they didn't have a named over here at all. 
I, not that I noticed. And I guess we got the gym. Let me check. Okay, I think we got three of the sandstorm, lightning, blizzard. We just need one more gem, which we can get at a different time, I guess. It would appear that we've just got one guy left, that guy down there. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I got a ways to go. It's a long way. I'm at uh, 53% to 65. This is funny. We're going to be level 70. We're going to be ready for some a new expansion soon. We, we just killed the name, this what Mystic said. I, I don't know, really. I guess he was, a, I don't know, up in the carpet area. We didn't. I know that's a portal out of here, the way I'm facing now. But I don't know if we killed him. Because I look on the map... We went everywhere up here. I'm at thirty six percent to sixty four. Well guys, I think we've gotten the third gem which is up here, so that pretty much does it. This portal out here sends us back to the, to the beginning. So I guess we should probably get, uh, there's a final room on this wing. There will be about six or eight trash mobs and boss. Okay, Hardhead, where, where is it? Um, I'm looking on the map. I go to Hike Builder and uh, I'm going to go here. So, I know we missed something, but we came up here and we did all this whole area in the red. You can see it in the red area. Okay, Mystic, it was nice to meet you and thanks for dropping by. Have a great day today. And thanks for all the tips and everything. But Hardhead, if you see where we should go, I, I can go back because we, we did that room over there, I think. Go back and check it out. There's a, a room in the upper left here, like right there. I'll make the map a little bigger. Oh, okay, so we did it then. We, we have completed it. Okay, guys, let's just do a photo finish then because I know it's getting late for y'all. And I get up here like this. guys um, we're gonna have to complete this at a different time it's getting late here it's about 4 a.m. Pacific time I want to thank all you guys for showing up and for those of you who aren't here thanks for all your your hard work Tumador and uh, Capriel thank you so much for taking down keeper of the lore that bad guy on my right lady near just blasting away with these crazy 8k hits crits and on my left, Scorpion, played by Corbin, doing a great job, you guys. Turned them all into scarecrows, and they're great. And yours truly, Turkish Angor, played by Cat's Meow. For now, this is going to be it for Bastion of Thunder. We've done three of the four wings. This place is huge and takes a long time. We're going to continue this uh, next time, possibly, and do the rest of the wings. I personally like this place. And I hope you guys do too. We've already gotten a couple levels up here, so make sure you tune in for more fun. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see this here down the hallway. Thank you for joining us, and uh, good night, everybody, or good morning, and see you next time.